we're going to learn how to create a class here. We want to do object-oriented programming concept, right? So you could create a new package if you want, okay? And that's how you create a new package, right? So let me show you again. Right-click new package, right? And it's going to be inside. It says source, okay? App source. Me in Java, okay? Enter the name of the package. So the name of the package, I'm going to put. Let's say I'm talking about, uh, I'm going to have, if I want to create a game, so let's call card game, okay. So something like that, okay. So inside my card game, I should have a car class, right? So I create a class name car, right? And we just talk about, it should have the private so the car characteristic attribute should have make. If I want to add more, I could add like color of the car too, right? If I want to, right? And so on. There's so many of them. But now I'm going to make another one, which is the speed, right? I just want to be able to control the car, right? Right. And we start to create a constructor, right? So constructor, right? So class should have a constructor. Constructor is the place where you initialize the values, right? So let's give initial value. Uh, our cars is the Ferrari, right? And we can give the color. Normally, color of the Ferrari should be red. So speed. So when it stops zero, initialize it, right? And we said we can have the method like move, right? So when I move the car, it's going to return the distance. So which is distance could be double. We return the distance and the method is move, right? And curve versus here where we return this tense which distance supposed to be you need to create the distance right and this is the local variables distance right which is double type because return double so let's make local here which initialize to zero which when we move the car we need to pass in two parameters right double which is we say we have the speed in, right? And we gotta have time, right? So the time, how long it's moved. So this time should be speed times time. So you can return this time. So this is simple, simple car. One more method that we like to do is to string. To string pretty much as return a string pretty much just return information of the car like now it's going to return like what's the make of the car in a string format right like let's say make and then say this dot make or just make okay and then concatenate it right we can do let's say new line and then the color of the car right and then return the color of the car right and new line and the speed right so normally that is a point of the two string right return the values of the characteristic of the car right 
that is common method that we like to do and the reason we have to have to string then we can see information when we create it let's test to create this in our main activity so you see that this is like our main class right with the main method right that we go use the new class that we create right so first how to use the class we need to import right so we need to know the package right and that's the package name that we just create right so let's say how to use this <clears throat> we said we going to create a car right name car equals to new car right so this is going to call the constructor now i'm going to import the class car right car game dot car right because that's the package that we just create right and this is a constructor i could just let's do a pen again to see the output by calling dot to string so initialize the values to a car returns the value which is ferrari rate zero right so that's what we expect to see let's refreshing and see the output here right here make ferrari color rate speed zero so we just create an object of the car and the reason we want to do this we can create multiple objects i don't need to have one car I can have car 2, car 3, and car 4. And then if I want to make a game, I can have multiple cars racing together in here with different speeds. So we we'll talk about how to do that. But this is a concept of object-oriented programming now. You create a class and you reuse it in your main.